Hello everyone. Uh, in today's video, we're going to show you how you can create a subform within a form in Soho Creator. In fact, this is the correct way of adding a subform to your Zoho Creator forms so that you can link them properly on a one-to-many relationships um, in the database. So I'm going to create a new database here very quickly. Uh, bear with me one second. Let's see where it is. I'm going to build one from scratch. And this is Subform 101. Subforms 101. I'm going to create it. And <clears throat> we're going to do a very simple, let's see, order. I'm going to do an order application so that you can add, let's see, okay, orders. We're going to call it orders. And then an order is going to have, let's say, it's going to have a date. It's going to have, um, I don't know, some options about, uh, let's say, status, let's see, open in progress, uh, closed. Just to name a few, we're going to have a three column here. And then we're going to put the subform here, but first we need to build it. So in order to do that, we're going to create another form. And this is critical. We're going to call it items. And we are going to put it under order section. We need to store the data. That's good. Okay, now, very quickly again, we need to have, let's say, a description about the item. Description. And then most of the times we want to add quantity. And then price. And then a subtotal. So that we can aggregate the information on this. So this is key. <coughs> Check this out. The first step that you always have to do is you go to the orders form and then you need to add the sub form that you just built into the form. So in this case, I'm going to add items. Okay. And then I'm going to call it uh, item details. Uh, this is for the name of the sub form. Okay. Now, before you do anything else, you need to go back to the items and you need to map each of the items to the order ID. So to do that, you need to grab a lookup field, click on existing relationship, and this is going to give you the relationship that you already set between the items and the orders. So you click this and select the ID of the order to link it to each of the items in the subform. Make sense? So and we can call it this orders ID. And now we have properly linked the subform to the orders uh, uh, form on a one-to-many relationships. So in this case, for example, if I add an order, it's an open, and then I'm going to do test item A. Let's do 10, price 100. This is going to be 1,000. And I can then test item B. Let's do 10 times 50. That's 500. If I click Submit, I'm going to be able to properly link the items in the in the order with the ID that they belong to. So if I check this entry, 
going to be able to have all this properly. And this is video number one. Um, this is the correct way on linking a subform with a one-to-many relationships to a Zoho Creator form. In video number two, I will show you how you can keep building on this order form so you can have uh, an aggregate of the subtotals at the bottom and make sure that these items automatically update um, independently. All right, keep uh, watching these videos. Let me know if you have any questions and look forward to see you around our site. Thank you so much.